All right, students, today we are going to talk about complex sentences. Let me write over here, complex sentences. In the previous class, I talked about compound sentences. I introduced fanboys for and nor, but, or, yet. So they all are coordinators. And I told you that these fanboys are used to make compound sentences in which you combine basically two independent clauses using for and nor, but, or yet and so. In the same manner, to understand complex sentences, you need to understand the concept of subordinators. The words like while, when, unless, if, which, because, as, they all are called subordinators. What do they do? They combine two clauses like fanboys, but the only difference is that instead of combining two independent clauses, they combine one dependent clause with an independent clause or they combine independent clauses with the dependent clauses, right? So let me give you some examples in the next slide. Examples of complex sentences he has passed his exam because he worked hard Now in this example, he has passed his exam is an independent clause because it can stand its own. So if I write over here, he has passed his exam and I put a full stop here, it can stand its own. But if I write this way, because he worked hard and put a full stop, now, because he worked hard would not make any sense on its own. It is to be combined with this clause. That's why such clauses are called dependent clauses. Right? So they usually do have subordinators. The words like because, which, while, there's a huge list. You can Google that. All right. So that means complex sentences have two clauses, an independent clause and a dependent clause, and they are combined with the subordinators. I hope you've understood what a complex sentence is. If you have any confusion, you can ask me during the live session. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself.